Researchers at UCSF are teaming up with a Bay Area gaming company to help patients with degenerative diseases. The result, a new wave of interactive video games specially designed to target their symptoms. Now stand up. In her 70s, Sue Lifshiz might not fit the profile of a hardcore gamer, but she's definitely motivated. <laughs> I want to be able to easily get in and out of bed roll over in bed. I, I want my leg muscles to be strong enough so that I can get up out of a chair. Those everyday movements are getting increasingly difficult because Sue is battling Parkinson's disease. But now researchers at UCSF are hoping to help her in that fight with this game controlled by a motion sensor on her arm. So we're taking gestures that have proved efficacious in a laboratory and clinical setting and putting them into real world games. Glenna Dowling and Marcia Melnick began by studying hundreds of Parkinson's patients and how the disease was affecting their bodies. They came up with precise movements and exercises that would help counteract that deterioration. But instead of taking them to a physical therapist, they brought their data to the gaming engineers at Red Hill Studios in San Rafael. And then to hear all the ideas of, okay, here's this one movement, here's what you want to get out of the movement, and here are all the games we can possibly play to get that movement. Because the game is, again, find the motions as therapeutic to the patient, build a game that elicits that motion that can be used for any rehab. Uh, we're looking pretty good. We've got a couple of gaps uh, down here. Creative we're director Bob Hone and his team came up with dozens of concepts for games and then began testing them on patients. The up and down pushing motion on the hand car in this game was designed to help exercise the muscles patients use to get out of a chair. Well, it all comes down to the interactivity. And are we pr producing a good challenge for the patient? That's why games work. The result is software that's targeted much more precisely than off-the-shelf games like the popular Wii. Meanwhile, Sue is continuing rehabilitation with the Parkinson's prototype. To me, if I can maintain what I have, that's progress. <laughs> Now, another version in development right now is being tailored for patients suffering from cerebral palsy. The project is getting support from the federal government. UCSF and Red Hill Studios have just been awarded grants from the National Institutes of Health, totaling more than a million dollars. Obviously, looks promising. Mm -hmm. Well, on to sports, the NFL draft is underway. Would the 49ers or the Raiders select Notre Dame quarterback Jimmy Clausen?